Alpha radiation travels only a few centimetres in air and it's stopped by a thin piece of paper. It doesn't pass through the human skin. Now that doesn't mean to say that alpha radiation is harmless because alpha radiation is very ionising because an alpha particle is really the nucleus of a helium atom. It contains two protons and two neutrons and those two protons are charged so that gives it its double plus charge. Therefore it's very ionising because it demands an extra two electrons of nearby atoms. Beta radiation can easily pass through a few centimetres of air and it can easily pass through thin paper but it's stopped by a few centimetres of thin metal like aluminium sheeting. A few centimetres of that metal will stop it. A beta radiation is really a fast moving electron with a charge of minus one. But it's very very light indeed and it's usually stopped uh, in its journey by bumping into other atoms. Gamma radiation, on the other hand, is not a particle, but it's almost like a flash of electromagnetic radiation. It will travel for enormous distances if not stopped. It will pass easily through thin paper and a few centimetres of aluminium or thin metal, and it's only stopped by several centimetres of lead. The gamma radiation is a member of the electromagnetic spectrum, and it can be very dangerous because it carries a lot of energy.